I'm Ryan McKinley, drums. I'm Stevie Mayhem, vocals. I'm Ricky Bullis, lead guitar. Cody Sparks, rhythm guitar. Abel Lynch, and I play the bass. You ready for tonight? Fuck oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. What do you expect from Faith and Bullets here at the Whiskey? The best right. show you've ever seen. All right. We're going to bring it like no one else. Oh, outside. you got to convince me better than that, man. Way other than all your life. <laughs> oh, brother, I'll tell you what. <laughs> you've been to a show. You've seen Motley Crue, but you've never seen Faith and Bullets. <laughs> <Right. laughs> Be there. Okay. One night only, the whiskey fucking will go go. Be Friday, 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 Friday. And you guys are doing a new song tonight in here? We're doing a few new like, ones that uh, we only done a couple times, so it's kind of exciting. Can you tell us the name of one? Uh, Can't Stop Me Now is a new one in Revolution. Very cool. Energy, gonna get some energy going. You guys are nonstop energy. People will anymore. go crazy. We're gonna blow your fucking right minds. This, this is the best set we've ever done, so we're so confident. And where can we find you at? Where can everybody find you? Faith underscore and underscore bullets underscore band on Instagram, Faith and Bullets on Facebook, also on Twitter, we're everywhere. everywhere. We're, right? we're everywhere. Reverb Nation, whatever you like. This yeah. house. And soon come into a town near them, right? Exactly. Yeah. Nevada, <laughs> Utah, Idaho. You guys Utah. had people come from everywhere to see the show. We heard about you had some people from Arizona. Utah, you guys sort of representing here. We got lucky. I mean, so far people like what we've been doing. So, you know, we were able to draw a pretty big crowd out here. They Everybody wanted to come, so it was kind of cool. We'll get ready. We'll have to talk with you a little bit after the show, too. Definitely. It'll be amazing. One of our favorite places, but we got a special treat for you this time. We got Faith of Bullets. Welcome, guys. Hey, what's up? Okay, I gotta tell you, we, it's only been what, six, seven months, eight months maybe six that we months. talked to you guys the first time? Less, and maybe. you're at the whiskey. Holy yes. shit. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. We've had bands we see come years later, they're still not down out here. So, what do you attribute this to? Hard work, I'm sure, because you guys are definitely Definitely hard, hard work. I mean, putting out ourselves to be able to do that, you know, it, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, emails, whatever. Um, just putting ourselves out there, accepting the rejection that we might hit just to be able to play a place like this. It's an honor to play here. Um, our favorite musicians have played here, so it's pretty cool. Well, let me ask you, how about who's maybe one of your favorite uh, bands that historically might have played here? Too many, but I'm trying to pick. I think we'll start with, go ahead and start with yours. Favorite band that plays here? Motley Crue. Woo! Guns N' Roses. Motley fucking crew, man. Motley Crue. LA Guns. And Warren, too. Yes, yes. Warren, I love Warren. Now you guys are bringing some energy, you're bringing the rock back. I mean, tell us. Like, you guys are playing some new songs we hear tonight, right? You told us a little bit about those? Yeah, and new songs. I mean, we've, we've really come along from our first stuff, you know, with Better Off Alone. Not that those aren't great songs. They're awesome. We still love them. But the, where we started from and where we've come is way different, and we love the new stuff. I mean, it's all about bringing rock and roll back, um, believing in yourself, not letting anyone stop you, because even the way we look is not the most accepted way in the world. But, you know, no one's going to stop what we love to do, and that's the biggest thing for us to do. That's could that be the reason behind the song? Can't definitely. stop me now. Oh, Good job. That's 100%. that's definitely the inspiration behind that. Now you guys got out here yesterday. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. Since your first time down in Hollywood. As a as this as group. As a group. Yes. As a group yeah. yes. We've awesome. all been individually. But. Did you get to do any fun touristy stuff or sightseeing things? Yeah, we went to Hollywood Boulevard. Kind of walked around there. Took some pictures. Had crazy. some great time. <laughs> Met some crazy people. Saw Jimmy <laughs> Kimmel. That dude looked fucking skinny all of a sudden. What the hell happened? But it's cool. Did you um, tell him you want to get on the show? He's been angry. We, we gave him a card. All right. So he has our card. And you know, I don't care what you're saying. I saw Johnny Depp. It's not Johnny Depp. It's Johnny Depp. <laughs> but we walked around Guitar Center, did the whole thing. We did an acoustic set in a co in a Guitar Center real quick. Me and Rick did. It was a lot of fun. So then we just got down here and did sound checks. Sounds great. So we're excited. Did you go up and down the strip yet? Have you seen anything fun or? Not too much. I mean, uh, we did Some pictures of girls. course with you guys. A lot of Abel girls. saw a lot of cute girls. <laughs> he was yelling out the window at all of them, of oh, course. Really? You know. Oh yeah, that was nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys went to dinner here. We're at the legendary Rainbow Room. Room man. Rainbow. Rainbow. That was that was awesome. Met some cool people down there. One of the bands we're playing with was there. You know, SJ Syndicate. Those guys are cool. Security was cool. I mean, it was just a great time, great food. High five. 
trying to get out there and play, Good. you know, I mean, um, we're going to go from here and go, okay, what are we planning on doing and where we want to go? We've got a couple offers on the table. We don't want to set anything to stone because we haven't set it yet, but we're, you know, we're going to play where we can play. And like I said, we're getting better and better and, I don't know, it's just exciting seeing where everything is going. I mean, for me, it's been almost one year that me and Rick have been together and then finding these guys was awesome and, you know, now we're... It's going to be our anniversary. It's going to be our anniversary. <laughs> So we're, we're excited because it's like we've worked hard for a year and now we're here at this point. We're playing the Whiskey A Go-Go. And it's like we've come so far. What's up for us next, you know? And we, like I said, we got some offers, some exciting stuff, and we're going to be coming up with that soon. And what could you tell if somebody who's never seen you guys or heard you guys before? But could you tell them they can expect? One of the best shows you've ever seen, honestly. Like, we put it all out there. I mean, you can say what you want about us, our hair, whatever, makeup. But we're going to give you a show for sure. I mean, you haven't seen nothing like this since maybe Motley Crue, you know. Just five guys busting their ass to give. When we walk off stage, if, if we're walking off stage, <laughs> like, we can walk off stage, but we're barely walking off stage. Like, we work hard up there, you know, whether it's three songs or tonight where we're doing six. It's like, we're putting our heart and soul in that. I mean, we've gone over our set a billion times, and so we know what we want to do, what we're going to conquer out there, and it's going to be good, so we're excited. Because you're definitely going to bleed the energy out there. That I mean, our goal is to steal awesome. the show. I yep. mean, you know, Breaking Arrows is headlining. They're a great band and everything. But we want them to turn around and go, holy shit, we have to top that, you know? <laughs> That's our goal, you know? Not that they they can't do that or anything, but they're a great band, too. But we want to be on their level. and We want to challenge them a little bit. Yeah, make, you know, that's whenever you're opener, that's, that's your job. You want to challenge the headliner. You know, we got a lucky spot going 10, 15 right before them. And so that, we're going to bring it. You guys definitely have the great attitude, the personality, the fun rock and roll vibe. We love it. I mean, uh, we look forward to seeing you guys out everywhere. Tell everybody we got to put your word in to get you out to Aftershock, too, right? Oh, man. If we could do Aftershock, that'd be awesome. I think we fit right on with that. There's a couple other festivals and stuff we're trying to get on. We're trying to get on Warped Tour, so you guys go vote on Warped yep. Tour, you know. Um, it's on our page, Reverb Nation and everything, so go check it out. Vote for us so we can do stuff like that. Um, doing a, Hopefully do a couple fairs this summer. and Hopefully get out there, you know. Maybe we'll even come back here. Who knows? You know, possibilities are open. We have no doubt, definitely. You guys are definitely out there to, to win it, and you guys are doing a superb job at it. Yep. Let's see, lastly, what's maybe, if you could each tell us maybe what's a new artist that you've uh, learned about that you like? Chains. Breaking Chains they is are cool. They a badass group of kids. And, and it's cool, they're like 16 years old. We did a, you know, the Bantica Battle Bands, which we're still in. We're doing the finals next week on May 10th. Right. Those kids, man, like, they're going somewhere. Great vocals and everything, musicians. Um, even a couple of our friends that are out there, you know, they're they're all doing stuff, trying to be musicians. So it's like 
Any, anyone who's just wanting to do rock and roll is our they have influence. support. Yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, even if you suck right now, like let us know. We're gonna try to help you out as much as possible. You know, I've been in those situations where maybe we weren't the best in, in the world, but people like supported us with it. You know, I played with Dirty Penny, and those guys are like, you guys got something there. You know, you know, just the support it means so much to people. That's it. Definitely, that's the way you can do. And we'll see if you'll share the stage with these guys. You know, Definitely. I mean, we're excited for it. And uh, well, everybody will be hearing from Faith and Bullets. We look forward to seeing you guys back here on the Strip. Maybe uh, next time, The Rocks. You'll we'll have to get you up and down the Strip out here, right? We'll play everywhere. Troubadour. It doesn't <laughs> Troubadour element. Definitely. We'll play out on the street. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we'll turn all these fucking clubs up. <laughs> yeah, we'll set them up. We'll play Hustler. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for your time, guys. We look thank forward to seeing you on the you. stage. Thank you. We are Faith and Bullets! If you're addicted to music, get your fix at Music Junkie Press. Hustler!